Great win against, you know, one heck of a, a scrappy team. I mean, Northeastern uh, was coming off of a huge weekend last weekend, and uh, we knew that we were going to have our hands full against these guys. Uh, I thought it was our best offensive day of the year, uh, considering we were facing a starter who's very, very talented, uh, wasn't going to give us a whole lot, and, and he didn't. Uh, you know, we, we had the HBP there, um, I believe it was in the third inning, and I thought that you know Brewer and Corbett really kind of set the tone uh, for uh, the com the competitiveness of our at bats. Um, we talked about that as a group after Wednesday's game that you know, felt like we were coming off probably our least competitive game offensively. And uh, boy, did they respond! You know, just two two strike hits back to back to drive in two runs. Uh, then we had the big inning in the fifth where we put together a lot of really good at bats. And, uh, you know, we pitched just good enough. You know, today, um, I didn't think that we pitched poorly. There was just a lot of free 90s. You know, I thought that, uh, you know, the free 90 kind of bit us a little bit. We gave them a few runs. Um, you know, defensively, we were pretty solid. But they made us pay. You know, the errors that we made, the two that we made, they made us pay on those errors. And they took advantage of some free 90s uh, late in the ball game uh, and, and gave themselves a chance. So. But we haven't been that kind of club, you know, quite honestly. So uh, you know, I don't, I don't make too much of it. But you know, I told the guys after the game, we needed our offense to win us a game because our pitching and defense uh, had certainly uh, bailed us out uh, quite a few times uh, over the course of this season. We needed our offense to win us a game, and, the, and we did that. So I was very proud of our guys uh, for being able to do that. Coach, you left uh, England in there when they tied the game with two outs. Uh, he was able to get the third out, and then the, the bats responded with five runs. Nice for him to be able to get the W. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, Max Max earned the right uh, to stay out there and try to uh, pitch his way out of out of out of his own damage, right? And and we talk about that, you know, with our pitching staff. You have to you have to limit your damage. And when guys get on base, you have to be able to. Uh, to control that and be able to pitch your way out of that and handle that, and, and I thought he did. Look, he, you know, they 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 beat him in the strike zone, so give their hitters credit. I mean, he, you know, they uh, had two strike, uh, two out double uh, to the opposite field, and then you know, the next hitter put a good swing, hit a line drive up the middle. So again, they're a really good team. But I thought Mac threw the ball very well. I mean, I believe after five innings, only giving up two runs. I mean, we'll take that every start of the year. So I thought he threw well. Again, I didn't think we were quite as clean uh, as we have been, uh, but you know, again, our, our our offensive approach at the plate today I thought was outstanding. We swung the bats very well, and uh, that was you know the reason uh, that we were able to to win the game because it was an uncharacteristic game for us uh, on a pitching and defensive standpoint. But quite honestly, look, physical mistakes are going to happen. You know, I'm not going to fault our club for making a couple of errors. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to make some errors. They're also going to make some great plays. Uh, so, uh, you know, all in all, uh, I thought we played a really good baseball game against a really good team and found a way to win it. You guys have always responded this year. Talk about the response you guys had there in the fifth after they tied the game. That's a great point. I mean, and, and we talk about responding. Great clubs respond. It, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to answer them with the same amount of runs. But if they score a couple runs, you need to find a way to score a run. And we certainly did that uh, in the fifth. You know, they scored two to tie it. We come back in, we throw up a five spot. They, they score two in the six. We score two in the bottom of the six. So uh, I thought we did a really good job of responding on offense after uh, giving up a couple runs. Four for nine with runners in scoring position. I guess you'll take that every time. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I, I think that it just boiled down to, uh, you know, the good work that, you know, that Jared Broughton, you know, our, our, our hitting coach who works with our guys uh, and our staff, you know, we, we, we talked about we needed to make some adjustments and talk a little bit about Wednesday night and what we saw with our guys. And JB met with the guys in the cages and, and uh, you know, went over a few things with them. And I just thought they did a really good job of responding and adjusting uh, to, to some poor at-bats on Wednesday night uh, for our, by our standards. I thought the guys did an outstanding job of kind of regrouping and, and, and looking at it and making some adjustments, and it certainly showed today. Monty, did you guys change anything in the offseason as far as how you prepare your batters? Seems like I've heard a lot of the guys talk about, you know, you guys have faced some good pitchers, and it seems like you guys are 
your players are well coached when they get up there. Well, know what I, to look for. I don't think it's necessarily that we've done anything different than we've done in the past. I think um, we just try to be consistent. I think we try to be consistent. We try to keep it simple. Um, and, and sometimes as coaches, um, and I'm certainly guilty of this, um, you know, you want to fix every mistake. So, you know, sometimes when things aren't going well, you want to change things up and you want to try different things. And you're always trying to find a way to, uh, you know, to, to get your club going in the right direction when things aren't going well. And I feel like we've been doing a, a good job of just kind of staying the course with what we believe in and, and trying to reiterate that to the players. Um, and, uh, you know, th but the guys have bought in. I think that's the biggest key is the guys have bought in to having team at bats. I thought the best at bat of the day, uh, you know, quite honestly, was Briar Hawkins' uh, ground ball RBI. You know, when you see that kind of stuff going on with your, with your guys, they've got the corner, corner infielders in, and, uh, you know, he's got to hit a ground ball into the middle of the field to score a run. For him to sacrifice, you know, his at bat, hit a ground ball to second base to score a run. You know, those are the things that, that I like to see. Guys getting two strike hits using the other side of the field. I mean, look at how many good two strike at bats we had today. You know, Brewer uh, had two two strike hits. Corbett had a big two strike hit. Engel had a sack fly with two strikes that he hit the other way. Just thought we did a good job staying on the baseball. Max Wagner swung the bat uh, very, very well today. Um, he, he probably squared the ball up as good as anybody. So just thought that, you know, overall, it's good to see us have more team at bats and and not throw away uh, at bats today. Coach, how about the season that Max been having? Um, obviously, been solved for you at third base, but also at the plate, um, three eighty nine so far, and, and two for four today with the big homer. Yeah, I mean he's an exceptional player, I and mean, he's a guy that um, you know when we recruited him, um, I got a chance to go see him play. Uh, after he had committed to us, and uh, I could I could tell first time I watched him play that he was going to be a special player. Uh, you know he's he's got a, he's got a tremendous amount of poise and composure about him for a young man. He's an outstanding defender. He's strong. You know he can hit the ball to all fields. Um, and the thing I'm proud about you know with Max is Max hasn't been in there uh, every game. You know we've tried some different guys uh, in and out and. You know, Max just waited his turn and he was ready to go when his name was called. And, you know, he didn't have bad body language about it or sulk about it. He was, he's a true professional and he's a very mature young man. And he's very consistent uh, from a demeanor standpoint. So uh, it was, it's great to see all the hard work that he's put in uh, is coming to fruition because we think he's an outstanding player. Coach, it's been a while since we've um, since Gilbert's made an outing. Is, is he okay physically? And everything? Yeah, we're he, he he's he's off right now. Um, you know, he he's had some fatigue, um, so he was he was out uh, last weekend and he's out this weekend. But we expect uh, expect him to be back uh, by next weekend, so he should be fine. He threw today. I think it went pretty well, so <clears throat> we expect Jeff to uh, you know to be back you know, hopefully by next weekend. Anything else?